Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to swatch for you seven of the Rare Beauty Lip Souffle. So first up is this very, very beautiful color. Oh my God, I love this. This is like a, a pinky brown on my lips. I have pigmented lips. So this looks so beautiful. And this is the shade Fearless. I think it's the perfect nude tone for my lips. I'm kind of low-key obsessed with this color. Just letting you know that I do have pigmented lips and that's what they look like. Next up, we have Courage. So I'm just going to show you the texture of this formula as well. You can see it's, it's definitely moussey. So this is the shade Courage. I really don't like this color on its own because it looks super ashy on my lips. If you have lighter colored lips than I do, I think this color would look really pretty on you. But on my lips, it's, um, it's a bit of a hot mess. Now, I do want to point out that this looks great under a pink lip liner. So one of you, hey Deepti, if you're watching. So Deepti mentioned that I should try it with Max Soar lip liner and I did and it looks beautiful. Let me just show you that very quickly. So here I've got Max Soar lip liner. This is what that looks like. And I'm just going to pop Courage right on top of that. And now I really like this shade. So I feel like... This is one of those shades I will never wear on its own. However, with a pink lip liner, it looks beautiful. So this is Courage with Max Soar. This is a beautiful shade called Brave. Now it looks light on my lips because again, I have pigmented lips. If you have lighter lips than me, this is gonna look a little bit more terracotta, a little bit darker on you. So keep that in mind. On me, definitely leans orangey slash peachy. So this is the shade Brave. I love this shade. I think this shade is perfect for summer and for fall. It's really, really beautiful. I've also applied it with a full pigmented swatch. Like you don't have to wear shades like this really fully pigmented. You can um, soften them with a brown lip liner or of course not apply it so much. So when I just removed a little bit more product from here, it becomes like a really beautiful soft nude on the lips. It's beautiful. This is the shade Heroic, a very pretty berry shade. I've actually been wearing this shade with less intensity, so not as much as I applied at the moment, because again, this is full application, but if I was to just remove some of this product, this is how I've been wearing this color and it's so beautiful. Look at that. This is the shade Ascend and this is not my shade. I'm not a fan of pinks like these. I don't find that they look flattering on my, on my complexion. I mean, of course I can make it work and I can wear it. Um, it's just not something that I personally gravitate towards. If you haven't seen my top pink lipstick video, check that out. I'll show you lots of different options for pink lipsticks that look flattering on my type of skin tone. Um, hmm, what do you guys think? This is the shade Ascend. This is the shade Inspire, quite a, a beautiful bright orange. 
I don't often wear shades like these, so I feel a little bit uncomfortable in this type of orange. But you guys let me know what you think of this shade on my skin tone. I think it is pretty. Lastly, I have Transform. This is beautiful. A deep wine and I didn't have too much trouble making this look even. I think it applied really nicely. Beautiful color. I'm actually really, really loving this. So those were the swatches you guys and I think out of all of these shades definitely brave and fearless are my top favorite those are the two shades that have actually been wearing a lot more frequently than the other shades I also really like this last shade transform I think that's really beautiful now let's talk about the formula so this is a lip mousse right so this has a moussey formula it's actually quite similar to the mac powder kiss except it's not as powdery with the mac powder kiss you can kind of sometimes feel or you can at least see the powder on the lips a little bit and when you smush your lips together it goes away um you don't necessarily get that with these souffles I sometimes i have noticed a little bit of a powder but really that's quite rare the time that i've been wearing these um i've been able to wear them very very comfortably and they don't dry out my lips they also last a decent amount of time for example if I apply them in the morning I have my uh, my cups of coffee and my breakfast you know and then they'll still be on my lips they wouldn't disappear it's really really only after lunch that I'll need to go in and top up of course the deeper shades last a little bit longer than the nude shades the deeper shades I find stain a little bit as well Honestly, I have actually really enjoyed this formula. I think this formula is amazing. Like they apply so soft, so mousse-like to the lips. There really isn't any issues that I find with the application. The applicator is a, is a nice sort of a, a rectangular applicator. It applies product very, very easily. Even with this deep shade, I didn't have trouble with lining my lips. So I think the application, the wear time, how comfortable it is on the lips. I love it. I love this formula. I do think that the shade range, at least the shades that I picked up, um, I'm not completely happy with. There are some shades in there I absolutely love, whereas some of the other shades I'm, I'm okay with. I would love to see Rare Beauty actually extend their shade range. I think it would be amazing to get more shades because this formula is bomb. If you guys have tried this formula, let me know what you think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in my next video. See ya!